In this video, we look at the McKelty DSR and DER1 regulators and how to set the voltage. We will discuss the procedure for fine adjustments of the regulator and also for the setting of new replacement regulators. For your safety, please note that when the alternator is turning, the regulator is live and will give you an electric shock if touched. We urge you to read the manual supplied with each alternator and use an insulated screwdriver for adjustments of the regulator potentiometers. When replacing an old regulator with a new one, please read the alternator manual to make sure you connect the wires correctly. Please note it may not be the same as for the original regulator if a new model regulator is supplied. Please consult your local McCalty representative if in doubt. For remote voltage adjustment, the DSR uses a 10K ohm potentiometer. The DER1 uses either a 100K ohm for plus or minus 14% adjustments or a 25K ohm potentiometer with 3.9 ohm resistor in series for a plus or minus 7% adjustment. Importantly, the digital regulators have two versions. The DSR and DER1 for series 3 to series 38 alternators has a white base. Then the DSR slash A and DER1 slash A for series 40, 43 and 46 alternators with a blue base. If the generator uses the McAlty PFR96 power factor regulator, then this will need to be changed to the PFR96 slash 2. New regulators may not have the voltage set to a particular level. We recommend that the voltage potentiometer shown here and labelled volts is turned fully anticlockwise like this before adjusting with the alternator turning. Voltage from the alternator may be as high as 600 volts if the regulator is not set correctly. This may damage the alternator and any connected loads. If adjusting the voltage on a factory supplied alternator, the voltage will be set to a value indicated on the nameplate and shown on the test report where supplied. For three phase outputs, this will usually be 400 volts in 50 Hz and 480 volts in 60 Hz. Please read the manual or consult your local McCalty representative if you have an intention to operate at voltages other than these, as power D rates may apply. Failure to follow this may result in damage to the alternator due to high excitation levels. To show this, I will increase the main output voltage. You can see the excitation voltage is now rising. The potentiometer for voltage adjustment has a wide adjustment range. This means that only very small turns are required to adjust the main output voltage significantly, as you can see here. Turn the potentiometer clockwise to increase the voltage and anticlockwise to reduce the voltage. Carefully adjust until you have the desired voltage.